Ice flower plant is an easy to grow and very hardy plant that you can start from seeds even if you are a beginner. They have relatively smaller seeds than any other winter flowering plant. So in this video, we will discuss a few simple seed growing tips. Also, we will see how to grow them till their flowering stage. So let's begin and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. First of all, it's important to know what is the right time to sow their seeds. Their growing season starts in the early winters as soon as the temperature gets ideal. Their ideal temperature range is 15 to 27 degrees Celsius. In colder areas, it's also grown in the start of springs, but in the temperate regions, their seeds are sown in the starting winters. Before sowing their seeds, simply just take a look of the weather in your area. If the day temperature is ideal, you can sow their seeds. Another important thing to grow ice plant from seeds is the quality of seeds. Just make sure you are sowing the right variety. It should be compatible with your area's climate. Rare varieties tend to have lesser germination or sometimes no germination. So choose a local variety. Some of the good quality ice flower seeds are also linked in the description box if you like to buy. One more important thing is that make sure the seeds you are sowing are healthy and freshly stored. Older seeds produces weaker plants so ask the seller before buying and subscribe to our channel. Choosing a good quality seed starter is also very important. It should be loose, soft and well draining. Seeds are sensitive to soil media, so you can buy a seed starter from the description box of this video. Or for making a cheap but effective seed starter at home, follow the video added in the description box and i button. You can sow that seeds in good size pot. For better germination and to avoid overwatering, choose a clay pot. They have tiniest seeds, therefore it's also better if you choose a wider container. For sowing the seeds of ice flower plant, make sure the soil is fully moist, then place the seeds over the soil mix, you can sprinkle them. Make sure not to add too many seeds at one place. Now cover them with a fine layer of cocoa peat or you can use the same seed starter mix. Don't bury the seeds too deep, cocoa peat is lightweight, so it's better for kick starting the seeds germination. Now make the upper layer of soil moist using a gentle sprayer. First watering is very important as it helps in initiating the seeds sprouting. So water well and place this pot in a semi-shaded area that have a lot of indirect sunlight. After around a week or so, you will see tiny, thick and fleshy ice plant seedlings will pop out. As soon as you see the first sign of sprouting, immediately make sure the pot is placed in a bright and well lit area. At this stage, the seedlings tend to get laggy and can die too, so water very carefully and make sure of bright light. After around a week or so, you will see the ice plant seedlings will fill up the whole container and now it's time to transplant them. As soon as they have a few leaves, you can shift them into a bigger container. Get the seedlings out of the pot using a spoon or any other tool. Just try not to damage the roots. For the soil mix, I am using my homemade potting mix. Detailed recipe guide on this mixture is added in the description box and i button. It works best for all type of seasonal flowers. Carefully put the seedlings into the hole and cover it up to the first set of true leaves. For watering, use a bottle and don't throw water over the seedlings. Ice plants have a less developed root structure, that's why you can plant them into any size of container. Just water carefully and subscribe to our channel. Within a few days, these transplanted seedlings will be on their own feet. The leaves will get bigger. At this stage, water carefully. Their only enemy is an overwatered condition, so make sure it's training well. After a few weeks, your plants will be much bigger in size. They may fall off on the soil due to the weight of their thick and fleshy leaves, but that's okay. This is the second container of ice plants. They all are growing well. The temperature of below 20 degrees Celsius is like their maximum growth time. You can see they are growing very bushier. At this stage of growth, ice plant requires a fertilizer and a lot of direct sunlight to produce their buds and flowers. So make sure they receive at least a few hours of direct sunlight. A cool and healing sun of winters will work as a buds maker. And within a few days, they will start blooming too. You can start fertilizing them as soon as they are one month old. But I have included the fertilizer in the soil while they transplant. That's why I will fertilize them now. Ice plant is a moderate type of feeder that requires normal fertilization. You can use any type of compost or if you like maximum growth and blooming, use this fertilizer. It's made just for flowering plants using very simple ingredients. Video on this fertilizer is added in the description box and i button. Must check it out and fertilize your ice plants every two weeks, especially during the springs or at their budding stage. After a few days, as soon as the spring starts or the season gets ideal, you will see all your ice plants will be suddenly on flowering. Every weak or dying plant will flower because the season is ideal. The only problem that can affect the growth and blooming of your ice plants 
is the water blocking mixture. Too much moisture around the roots of ice plant won't let the plant grow. So make sure to use a good mixture. It's also linked in the description box if you like to buy. The ice plant flowers will keep on blooming in the sunlight until the springs are going on. To keep the flowers coming, one important thing you can do is that you can remove the spent flowers. Otherwise, they will start making seeds and your whole plant may die. So, remove the dead and dried flowers. And for learning more of such flowering secrets, follow up this ebook point by point. It's added in the description box to buy. At the starting summers, you will see your all plants will dry out. But the spent flowers still have the seeds that we can harvest. Simply choose a healthy dried seed pod and open it with your nail. Here you can see there are some seeds. These are the ice plant seeds that we can grow in the next season. So collect them and store them in a dark and dry area. So it's all about growing ice plant from seeds. To learn how to take care of ice plant at every stage of growth, follow up this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.